All right, everybody, welcome back to the Drag Insights Power Ranking Power Rankings debut. We'll, we'll say this is where we discuss the power rankings that were posted, and you can see them right now in our video uh, in the description video description. But we've also just posted them onto uh, multiple uh, websites, right? I'm Bobby Fazio. You all know me from driverinterviews.com, Class Racing Today podcast, and draginsights.com. And I'm here with my partner here, the brains behind this whole operation, the smarter one on the feed, right. Alicia Anderson. All right, Alicia, hey. how's it going? Good morning. I'm doing good, Bobby. How are you? I'm doing excellent. Well, I, I should say I'm doing excellent, but I'm actually mad right now because mm -hmm. I want to be in Virginia. I was looking forward to running my first national event in Virginia. Right. It's I only know. about five, five and a half hours for me. Could have been a great, you know, I came off a strong uh, Division One debut there. Right. But this clutch right. of mine is giving us problems. So we've had it in and out. I've had it in and out with dad two times. Poor dad has had it in and out without me probably about four more times so oh, <clears throat> i feel bad i'm in new jersey he's in pennsylvania and he's working all by himself so i got to get back there i'm looking forward to getting back there as soon as i can yeah i know it's such a bummer when you're like all set and you're kind of on a little streak and like everything's working for you but you know what it may you know it may be a blessing in disguise bobby because the weather forecast is not strong Virginia. I know. And, and that's, that was the thing. And that was also scaring us, you know, checking that forecast. Yeah. The last thing you want to do is just sit. I don't know. I, I, being at the races in the rain is better than being at work in the sun, but absolutely. Yeah. Agreed. It can just, mm -hmm. it can just get frustrating. Yeah. At times. So, yeah. well, it's, you know, it's an investment of time and money and everything to go. And then when you go and you can't race, I mean, sure. It's fun to hang out and, you know, drink beer with your buds, but Racers want a race, so I guess. Racers it. run a race, and, and we can't afford, especially with the price of gas right now, to just go down there, <clears throat> sit there, come back, and then have to reschedule, which okay. the last time I went to Virginia was in 2015, and that's exactly what we did. We had to go back mm. a couple months later, I think it was. Brutal. Yes, it was. Okay. Now, I just want to – just sharing this out a couple more times as we yeah. get our – Nice Listeners so, so. coming in. Oh, Ray Thurston's sad that you're not there, Bobby. Oh, Ray's there without me? I don't know. He's he says, Bobby, you're not there. So it kind of sounds know, like it's not, not it's there. not gonna be a rainy. <laughs> it's not gonna be a rainy national. I know. Gotta love it. Okay. Well. Yeah, I hear you, Ray. Watch the sun will be it'll be now that I'm not there, it'll be 75 and sunny with no problem. Well, that's the thing. Like, like, oh look, everything's forecast. fine. Forecasts are wrong all the time, so it could turn out to be just the best race ever. Who knows? Yep. We hope so. And a nice low, uh, almost sea level track too. So. Yeah, and a you know that lower car count, everybody has a better chance, right? Is that how stats work, or no? Yes. Well, the fact that we're putting up ten uh, power rankings, and there's only you know thirty ish, mm -hmm. thirty thirty four ish cars showing up in each class. I think twenty seven in super comp. Mm -hmm. That's right. not stopping us. We're still going to put up 10 power rankings. And yeah, the way we yeah. do power rankings, everybody, is we're not picking the top 10 drivers. What we are doing is we will throw a few uh, mainstream, you know, talented drivers in there. The most we'll, we'll try to put in some of the most powerful drivers to give you a reference point on, on the power ranking for that event and the, the factor, the power factor, I should say. Uh, but we throw in, you know, Random drivers, any, any, we try to mix it up. Okay. And we want you to see, and we want that driver to see, you know, possibly what their power ranking is and what their win probability is based off of our stats and off of our algorithms, if you will. Um, so that's what we're going to get into. Ray is at work. I'm sorry, buddy. At oh, work. Wow. Steve Foley, it's wet and a current mist. All right. So, Steve, you're telling me I'm not missing anything right now. I'm not missing anything yet. Stock nobody's, hasn't gone out there. Nobody's in the staging, hanging out. That, that 572 cubic inch motor isn't out there yet on the track, is what Steve Foley's told me. <laughs> y'all could have slept in. Maybe y'all did sleep in. I don't know. Uh, Matt Rover just posted a couple pics. It looks miserable there. Uh, what, on Class Racer or what, right? 
on, on um, Facebook. Missing some good food. Oh, thanks, Steve. Hmm. Yeah. Well, how come when I'm at the track, you don't give me I'm any? I'm going to have a smoothie. Huh? I think I'm going to have a smoothie. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. So now that we discussed a little bit about, we gave a little intro on how the power rankings, how we come up with the power rankings. Okay. Um, I've said it before and I'll say it again, how uh, we kind of come up with a power factor, right? Things that are weighted, win percentage, obviously. <clears throat> yep. Uh, number of runs in, in a car, in that, in that given car that you're driving. So somebody like Steve Foley, who's a killer driver, has only been driving this Copo, this brand new Copo, first one off the line, for about a month or two now. So if he was still driving, uh, I think, the red Firehawk or whatever he had, or the yellow one or whatever that he had a lot of runs in, that would move him up in uh, or give him an increased power factor. So right. Steve... If you're watching, that's how we come up with uh, power rankings. So also rated average reaction time is is pretty big. Okay, somebody who has an average reaction time of 25 versus someone who has an average reaction time of 65. Okay, that's weighted. Um, average ET. Okay, the faster cars are weighted slightly, not a whole lot, not as much as reaction time and not as much as win percentage and all the other things, but uh, quicker ETs. Are rated a little bit higher than than the slower cars. Uh, previous wins is is a, is a is a weighted factor. Previous wins at the track that the event's taking place is a uh, previous or is a uh, weighted factor. I'm not like reading comments and speaking at the same time. I know it's hard to do. Two, two things. <laughs> you're, you're I coming. love it. All right, you're doing great. Baby gators and gators. Oh, Steve. Okay, <clears throat> he's got two races under his belt with that car. Right? Is that what he's saying? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, I think that's what he's saying. Right. So he's because I think Darren Paul Adams just won in that car. Steve, fill me in on that. Did Darren Paul Adams just win in that 572, uh, or were you driving it at that race? Because I I wasn't sure. And congrats, to Darren Paul Adams, for his win. Um. Okay. What else? I just covered how we came up. Yeah, with I think that was about everything, really. Um. Yeah. So we throw all those in the in the hopper, um, and come out with what we call a power factor, which is a, just a flat number, and then a win probability, which is kind of self-explanatory, I guess. Yes. Now, until we do actually get to the point where we can like pick fantasy teams here or do something cool like that, um, then we won't put top 10, like I just said, like we're not doing, we're not ranking them top 10, you know, out of the whole field. We are throwing different random people in there mm -hmm. so that's yeah, what makes it fun nice. yeah but it's so cool because if we did have fantasy like rankings or something like that it would be so cool because you know with the probability and let's say and it, and it comes out before qualifying which is even cooler because let's say you know somebody very very talented gets paired up against somebody else very very talented in first round you know especially today where we have a shortened i think you're only going to get one or two qualifying hits you mm -hmm. might only get one with this rain Anything can happen, and and you spent all your fictitious money on Steve Foley, and now he has, to race against, he has to race against Darren Poole Adams in the first round. We don't know who's going to win that one, okay? Right. And you spent yeah. all your money on Steve Foley, and some other people spent all their money on Darren Poole Adams, and now they got to race each other first round. You are SOL, my friend. Yeah, yeah. I mean, give us some ideas about that, guys. Like, this is something that we really want to start working on in, on the Dragon Sites platform. This is fantasy racing and Steve Foley um, has a good idea that we should do a draft at the beginning of the year and you're stuck with those racers for the whole year. Like, <laughs> oh, uh, it's brutal. I don't know. That's everything changes so fast, Steve. I don't know if we could really do it that way, but hey, I mean, it's so hard. Maybe, maybe See, you can and choose, know what makes this maybe you can challenging. You it is, right? Yeah, I'm sorry, Alicia. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. <clears throat> no, I just wanted to clarify that what makes that challenging is uh, and super stock where you have GT classes, super stock classes, and you have to, there's a lot of extra time that we have to spend on super stock to make sure, you know, I got to run checks and run checks to make sure that a driver is driving this car in this class, because we like to drivers are, can be better or worse in certain classes. They could be great driver in GT I automatic, but have worse reaction time, worse stats, worse everything in GT J automatic. So you have to pay attention to all that. 
Yeah. So yeah. Steve. Well, Steve says we could trade or, you know, pick out a free agent or have some kind of way to compensate if somebody takes a poop at the beginning of the season, you know? <laughs> yeah. Cars break things. Things happen. I mean, I know I would have been number one on the power rankings this weekend in super stock. Let's obvious. Clearly. Okay, let's no questioning. Yeah. But I have yeah. a clutch issue right now. So I'm out. I'm down for the count. So you could you couldn't pick me. Anybody that wanted to spend all their fictitious money on me right now, you know, sorry to let you down. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But we're looking for ideas. I mean, I you know, there's a lot of different ways you could play this fantasy thing. Like we could do it every once a week. We could do, you know, everybody's gets back in the hopper once a month. We could do it for the year. We could do lots of different questions. Like who do we think is going to be the, you know, low qualifier? This stuff? like, you know, there's a bunch of different ways to play it. So love the ideas. All right. Well, let's go down the list here and give them okay. what they're, what they're waiting for. So right. Virginia power rankings, Alicia, you can go ahead with stock eliminator. All right. So stock eliminator, um, we are leading off with Cody Phillips. I don't know Cody Phillips. Do you know him, Bobby? Yeah, he's a painter. He's from North Carolina. I believe he's got a Corvette, a newer, you know, okay. later model, uh, 2000s, early 2000s Corvette, I believe. Yeah, he's coming in super strong. Um, but Matt Lisa is right on his tail. 17.34% um, win probability and 17.29. So they're um, they both really neck. strong contenders on any given week, it would seem. Um, Wallace Stent, 14.23. Jeff Longaney, 10.66. I'm just doing win probabilities this here. This is the win probability, yep. Yeah, it's the win probability. Um, you guys can look on Facebook and get the, all the details, or class rates are posted there, too. Um, Victor Cagnazzi, 7.44. Tim Fletcher, 7.33. Bob Latelier, 6.92. I may not be pronouncing that correctly, Bobby. You know. Yep, Bob Latelier. Um, We'll give him a little okay. French day at the end. It's a little front. It's French. He's clearly. from Maine. He's the car um, dealer from Maine. Okay, got you. I love it. Um, Raymond Skipper, uh, 2.04% win probability. Matt Rovers in there, um, 0.98. And Kenny Mealy, our buddy, 0.83%. Yo, Ken. Um, I know. Yo, Ken. We just threw him in there. And then the field um, as a whole outside of this set of racers um, has a win probability of 14.95%. So the, the field is also strong. C so the remaining 23 cars and that field probability changes because we, we leave a, there, there are some very talented drivers that weren't on this list of 10 that are in that field. Sure. So the field is cool because you could, you could pick and choose out of this, or you could just say, give me the field. They have a 14.95% win probability. And then we can throw some odds on that, which, Ugh, I just get so excited when I think about this. <laughs> I want to do it. All right. Yeah. All, right. All right. I'll give everybody the super stock. Okay. Power rankings. So coming in at number one, our killer of all killers here, Brian Warner, and his win probability is 20.07%. That's uh, and then, I think our strongest one of the week, right? Like Yeah, he's yeah. he's up he's our definitely our strongest. <clears throat> Uh, right behind him, uh, Anthony Bertozzi, and he's 18.01%. Um, so I think I think Anthony was the was the strongest for the Z-Max race, but now Brian's the strongest for this Virginia race. Hmm. Um, and then Byron Warner, 15.18%. So Brian and Byron, in case you guys are all wondering who's better, got to give it to Brian right now. Wow. Sorry, Byron. He's good at this track. Brian has won at this track, so that gives him a little edge. Yeah. Nine wins in this car, dude. And these, and this is since 2015. Strong. 2015. As of late, Brian's got the edge. Strong. Um, and then after Byron, so now we're on to number four. We got Joe Lisa, who just won in Z-Max. Uh, he is 10.59% win probability. Joe Lisa has a win at this track also. Uh, Joe Tyson, Tysinger, Tysinger, I believe. Tysinger, it's not Tysinger, I think. is it? So Tysinger, I think. Yeah. I think he's got the car that says Mama's Mink on the side mm -hmm. of it. He does, yeah. And he is at seven point three one percent win probability. Then we got Victor Gilmino. He's got the Ford Thunderbird, five point zero eight percent. He won at this track uh, recently. I think within the last two years. Nice. Uh, Mark Alvey. Uh, four point four eight percent. I believe Mark Alvey has a Cavalier, O five ish Cavalier. Uh, after Mark Alvey, we have Kevin Clark. I love Kevin Clark's 
Clark's car. He's 4.39%. He's right, right there with uh, Mark Alvey. So Vic Gilmino, Mark Alvey, Kevin Clark are all separated by like seven tenths of a percent. Uh, Sterling Simmons, Sterling Simmons, 4.30%. He's another Cavalier. And then Joey Warren, Joey Warren's in there rounding out 1.10%. So the field in Superstock, which is 24 remaining cars, is 9.49%. All right, so the field and stock was 14.95%, but the field and super stock is 9.49% win probability. Okay. Awesome. And now we are on to super comp. Super comp. Is that me or you? Should I do it or are you doing it? You doing uh, that's, your, that's your category. All right, I'll do it. Uh, number one, we got Mike Robolato, 14.26% win probability. Uh, after Mike, we got Amanda Boychesco. 11.13%. She's got numerous wins for being, what, 20, 20? For a youngster. Or 25-ish, I'm, I'm guessing. Yeah. Uh, Joey Cambria, 10.43%. Vincent Nobile, the former pro stock racer, came out firing. He won in, like, one of his first races in Super Comp two weeks ago. 10.28%. His average reaction time is killer, by the way. And his uh, win percentage is pretty damn good, too. Jason Kenny, the professional drag racer, 10.16%. He's been around a long time. Uh, Lauren Freer, 9.84%. Ken Moses. Ken Moses, I think he's a transmission builder, 8.71%. Jeff Kondratik, the Lucas Oil representative, and I think he has a Ford in his dragster, 7.84%. Richard Bernier is 7.28%. And Tori Iacono, who is... Another young young gun. I think she's probably about 18, 19, 20 years old. She is at 5.09%. So that is our 10 our, 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 our ten drivers in Super Comp. And then our field, which is only 17 more cars in Super Comp, is at 4.98%. <clears throat> awesome. Okay. All right. You want to talk about Super Gas? Super Gas. All right. Let's talk about Super Gas. John LaBoose Jr., um, or it could be Lavu. I don't know. 17.7% win probability. This guy has 13 wins in this car and one at this track. So super strong contender. Jim Perry Jr., 14.2% win probability. He also has a win at this track and a whole bunch of wins otherwise. Um, Iggy Boy Sesco, I feel like he might be related to the young lady that we talked about earlier. That is um, yes. Okay. 11.83%. <laughs> And he is a killer uh, driver. <laughs> yeah, that it must just run in the family. There's some genetics. We can talk about that um, at some point. But uh, Rusty Cook, 11.08%. Steve Furr is always in there, 10.28%. Um, Lauren Freer, here she is again, 7.68%. Frank Altilio, 7.04%. Um, David Anspach, 5.43%. Peter Luciano, 4.98%. And Darren Wood, 4.21%, which leaves our field with a 5.57% chance of somebody else winning. And just to call out some specifics, Bobby, we talked about reaction time. It's a big deal. Um, John LaBoose Jr. has an average reaction time of 0.16. So if you're wondering why he's so strong, that's a lot of it. Um, Jim Perry Jr., 0.20. Iggy Boy Susco, 0.24. So anywhere in that 0.2 range and you're you get to you get to be in a good place in the power rankings, you know? Absolutely. That's and in those dot 90 categories, they usually are, they're up there, 02 and 0 teens. And yeah. stock and super stock, we're usually, some of the best drivers are in the higher 20s. Because we're doing average, we have average green reaction time, which is your average reaction time. We're not going to count red lights into your average reaction time. We want your average green light in competition. However, there is a stat now that shows your average red light also. So, Alicia, let's tell them about some of the new features we got in there. On top yeah. of average green light, average red light, uh, we have lane stats. Mm -hmm. uh, what else do we have coming? Well, um, we've got some awesome stuff coming probably in the next week or so, Bobby, that's going to be um, a lot of folks have asked for, and I, Steve Foley, I think, um, who was on with us today, asked for, can we search um, our stats either by year? Um, so pick a year to look at their stats or by our whole career. So we're, we're building that in right now. Um, and then we're going to layer that in with, um, 
Bobby, help me. What was the other? Oh, by track. track. That's by track, track, right? So you can pick a year, um, you know, pick a specific track, layer all that together and see the tracks. So we're getting um, a lot more granular in what you can see for yourself and for your competition, provided that you're on the premium version. So it's exciting. All right. So if I'm at those baby gators where Steve Foley refused to feed me and I have to race him first round, I'm going to search up his stats. <laughs> and see how he does at that yeah. track. Man, I better step up my game. <laughs> see how he does at that track or how he's doing for the year. Uh, and then see how he did in his career. So we can narrow things down. Um, it'll, it'll be really cool. Looking forward to that. Yeah. Yeah. So we're always working on um, features, guys. And we get these straight from you. I mean, y'all tell us what you want. And so keep those ideas coming. Um, we have a lot of ideas ourselves, like no shortage of ideas. We have a big long list um, that we just keep clicking away at. But um, as y'all think of things, please tell us because this is this is for you. This is for the racer. So sportsmen um, specifically. So bring it on. Absolutely. Keep, keep us, you know, keep telling us. I, we like to I am a mathematical and statistical minded person to begin with. I like to get deep, deep, deep in there. So yeah. it's not fun if you're not, you know, overthinking. That's the way I, that's my approach anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but everybody's not like that. So there may be other things that you'll want to see too. that are more, more general and more high level that we're missing. So, um, so bring that on as well, where we welcome all those ideas. Okay, and what, what do we have here? Virginia Nationals dot Netlify dot app. Psyka. Please elaborate. What is that? Should we be going to it? Where, where, where will it take us? What's happening? Let me just check back. I'm missing some stuff. I got so into the power rankings today. Yes. Got out of our chat. Also, guys, I want to make everybody aware because people have been asking me. Eighth mile runs okay they we do not include elapsed times from the eighth mile runs because we don't want them to skew the quarter mile um ets that we have all right so eighth mile ets are not included but eighth mile reaction times are included because the reaction times are reaction time and we want to include that in a stat so the more reaction times we have in the database the more accurate the average reaction time number is also, we don't include outliers. People were worried that, okay, if I have a, if you have a competition single, we'll say. So at ACO, I was fortunate enough that my opponent didn't show up. They will automatically give him a negative 500 red light. So we don't include outliers like that. So that won't go against his uh, average reaction time. I didn't realize that. Why do they do that? What What's that? Because the, the red light comes on when, when you're in a, a buy situation <clears throat> as soon as the lights start coming down yeah the opponent's red light comes on and i don't know why they default to negative 500 on that because mm -hmm. if if the red light comes on as soon as the first bulb comes on that's actually a negative 1.5 red light but it's just a, it's a it's a i don't know i guess the computer but why do we need to that. assign a red a light at all like why don't we just I don't know, but you don't Why? win the you do not win the buy run until that red light comes on. So people have lost a buy run. Yeah, you can lose right. a buy run if you get on your two step or trans break and lurch through the beam before the lights come down. Yeah, and that's a big fear of mine. So <laughs> I, I on a buy run, my reaction time is always terrible on a buy run yeah. because I'm so worried about losing in a buy run. You're not <laughs> losing buy run. I wait yeah, until I wait until I see a flash of light coming down, and yes, then I get on, on my. <laughs> A full light and then just yeah. ease in. Ease full light it. accompanied by a full wind light. So I, I feel that. I feel that. Okay, good. All right. All well, right. I guess that makes some kind of sense, but yes. <clears throat> what else? What else do we want to cover? I don't know. Tell James Perron to open his eyes because he's saying he doesn't see Matt Lisa or Joe Lisa and they're right there. So get off the sauce, <laughs> put your glasses on. And take a look. <laughs> take a look. It's posted on Class Racer and Facebook. So James, he's there he's commenting. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> you may have to search for the post, like scroll James a little bit. James it's everybody's favorite stock and super stock racer. He's yeah. loud. He's fast. He's fun. <laughs> it's a great combo. Yes. Um, all right. Anything else we need to cover? 
I mean, that's kind of a big thing for this weekend. Um, I think that's the big news. There's an NMCA race in St. Louis. What else is going on this weekend? Yeah, we have the, the calendar. As soon as you log in to Drag Insights, um, right at the homepage is a calendar of all the events that are coming up. So there are multiple events this weekend. We have Worldwide Technology Raceway, which is the NMCA, NMRA. I think it's the 17th annual street Super Bowl of street legal drag racing. Okay, that's at uh, Madison, Illinois. We also just call it St. Louis. That started yesterday. We have Virginia Nationals, of which we just covered the power rankings. Um, what else do we it's have? Divisional at Indy? We do. We have a divisional at Indy. Well, nobody's talking about that. What's going Nobody. on there? Y'all? All right, we got to talk about that. Okay. They're probably going to get a, a much bigger car count, assuming the weather is okay there. I don't know what the weather is in Indy. If anybody does, comment and let us know. Yeah. There's no live from. There's nothing there. So somebody needs to. Nothing. And then we have a it's division. What's going on if that thing is happening? Uh, division five event in Great Bend, Kansas. S R C A drag strip. So if anybody's there, division five, comment. Uh, yeah. Also, our most recent contingency winner for Drag Insights was Louis Gill. He won the PC Richard National Open up in uh, Lebanon Valley, I believe it was. Is that where it was? I think, I think yes, so. yes, that is correct. Yep. All right. So wow. Louis Gill gets a one year extension on his premium membership. Guys, remember premium membership $5 a month or $50 for the year. Save a little bit of money by going for the year and signing up for the contingency. You'll get two decals in the mail, put them on the car. And if you win a runner up, you get membership extension, premium membership right. extensions. Steve Hahn, yours is coming today. So thanks for signing up for Dragon Sites Contingency and Premium and watch your mailbox, Steve. All right, guys, let's see. What do we have here? Oh, Walt Walker, what's up, buddy? Anything before negative 500 is left before third amber. So it defaults okay. to negative 500. Thank you. That makes all kind of sense. All right. Thank you, Walt. He's the best. All right. So thank you for joining us, everybody. Uh, we covered our power rankings. We covered new features that are coming. I'm really excited about the search by track uh, year or career. Yeah, feature. we'll talk about that next week. We have it. We'll show it. We'll do a little demo. All right, guys. So go Maybe to so app.dragonsites.com. Sign up. All you need is an email address to at least get, get in there and signed up for the free version. Free version, you can see what, Alicia? You can see your own stats. You can see your own That's stats, like the core stuff, you know, just your core averages. Um, and you get premium and you can see your core stats versus um, benchmarks against your class. You can compare yourself against how your class is doing. And then you can see your competitors and all their details. And it's just a lot more kind of juicy information for 50 bucks a year. You know, yeah. not too bad. So you can look up your opponents and look into their stuff for 50 bucks a year. I do like that, that against your class because I'm in K-Stock Automatic. I can scroll down and see how I, you know, match up against all the average uh, K cars that are out there. Yep. Uh, so it's cool. It's, it's a good tool to use if you're headed somewhere and you want to kind of plan ahead. Good to know. All right, All guys. Right. App.dragonsites.com. Thank you for joining us. I'm Bobby Fazio. I'm and Alicia you. Anderson. <laughs> <laughs> Missing my cues. Thanks All right, so. guys. Take care. Keep us updated in Virginia. Keep yeah. us updated Division 5, Great Bend, Kansas. Keep us updated Division 3 in uh, Indianapolis. And anybody that's at the NMRA and MCA race, keep us updated there. Comment, uh, give us a shout because we want to know what's going on. Yeah. Take care, everybody. Good luck. Safe travels. Have a good weekend, guys. Bye.